Hello. Uh, today what we're going to do is we're going to look at developing an interactive flip chart to reveal. What this is referred to as the revealer, this item right down here. The revealer does exactly that. The items that are covered with a blue box are the answers to what part of the heart. So if you move this over it, the revealer, you see the answers. The left ventricle, bicuspid valve, left atrium, pulmonary vein, etc. This is the end result. What I will do in this video is to show you how to develop this starting from scratch. So with no further ado, let's go ahead and start on a blank screen. The first thing you want to do is to go to your resource browser. Your resource browser will normally be collapsed down and you will see subjects as one of your options. Under subjects, what I did was I went to biology, then biology and selected human, and then selected heart and circulation. From heart and circulation, I selected this item. And if, it, if you want it at a different size, you can always resize it. I'm fine with it being this size. So what we will do is we will add the different names of these parts at this point. Instead of consuming your time, I paused the video and have added all of the answers. So our next step is to develop rectangles that will cover the answers. However, there's, there's one thing that we need to do beforehand and that is to go back to our resources again and take this heart and put it on top of this one. Now, how do I know that's exactly on top of it? Let's go up here what, to this item that looks like a sunlight. It's the translucency slider. So I want to make it a bit translucent. Well, that was, I was quite lucky. I actually placed it right exactly where the other one is. As you can see, there's one behind it. So we're, we're okay there. The next thing we want to do is to go over here to our shapes and select, let's just say for, for now, let's do a round, a round corner rectangle. And on the round corner rectangle, I want to draw, and I want to, my first one to be the same as my, the largest one I have, which is right here. That should be the largest one. Let's go over here to our properties. Um, it, that would be under our property browser. And let's change it to having no border. And give the middle of it a different color like that. Now that we have that, you can hit, if you're on a Mac, Command D. If you're on a PC, Control D to duplicate. And with all of those, we just take them and bring them down to the size that will cover the word. Let's see, pulmonary artery, that's right. Pulmonary vein, atrium. Our next step will be to, to put everything in order in the object browser because we want to make sure the shapes are on top of the text and the heart is at the bottom. So we will reorder those. And by holding your shift key down, select the bottom one and then the top one. That selects all of them. We want to move them to the top layer, right there. And the heart should be in the middle and text should be directly under it. Now the next item we need to develop is going to be our magic eraser. So let's go to another shape. This time, let us get a rectangle that is square. We want to make this the size of our largest item, such as this, so that when it's rolled over it, now we will move it up so it's above it instead of underneath. But we want to make it the same size so it reveals the full name. Since we're going to get rid of the borders, let's make it a little bit wider there. Let's go over to this and get rid of the border and make it none. And then let's change the border from red to 
black and then bring it down to maybe size 3 and then in the middle let's make it now we are going to use magic ink if this does not appear on your toolbar you can go to this item that looks like a hammer and a wrench or tools of some sort click on it let's go to more tools then edit user defined buttons and go to commands magic ink is under my all commands if I didn't have it this would be a darker color like these so about if I wanted about I could click add once I highlight the clock if I want a clock I can add, click add and my clock is over here now as you can see now I have the clock what you would do is you would click on the magic ink so done and now to make this work we have to take the magic ink and it's a little bit too big so let's make bring this down a bit in size layer the shape has to be on top it has to be up here okay now that it's up here I can now erase the inside of this and make it filled with magic ink okay now when we're done go back to the, our selector make sure all of your items in your under your object browser are the pins are on top the shapes and in the heart let's see what happens make sure that these two are grouped which is not as simple as it may seem there now they're grouped as one now it's one item let's try this okay by bringing the translucency all the way down of the heart that's on top we're fine and everything shows and there that is how we create an interactive magic eraser or revealer that's it for now have fun.